As you probably know, I speak about Pikmin a lot on this channel. Whether it's speculating when Pikmin 4 will be announced, whether it's speculating when Pikmin 3 Deluxe will be announced, whether it's speculating if we'll get the entire trilogy instead. Okay, I think you get the point. But I haven't said why, why I love this series so much and why I am quite literally begging for any Pikmin game to come on Switch, apart from Hey Pikmin of course, and I'll speak about that more later. But before we start the video, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to me because I'm trying really, really hard to grow this channel out. And a lot of people seem to watch these videos but don't really subscribe. So if you could do that, it would mean a lot to me if you enjoy the video, of course. Anyway, Pikmin, why do I love it so much? What makes these games so special? At first glance, it looks like a simple RTS game that doesn't have much else to it. And that is exactly part of the reason these games are so great, the simplicity of them. Other RTS games such as Age of Empires, a game that I have sunk literally hundreds of hours into, make it seem like a completely different genre altogether, because of how different they are. Most RTS games you have to be super quick and constantly on the edge of your seat, while Pikmin you can relax a little bit more. And yes there is still time management involved, but the game is a lot calmer, a lot more relaxed and a lot more enjoyable sometimes. And simplicity is definitely not a bad thing, I have seen countless countless people online saying they want Pikmin 4 to have this huge open world where you can control and manage a home base like most real-time strategy games and you can set different Pikmin out on missions etc and that just would not work that takes away from the magic of Pikmin and you also have to remember this game is on a console complicated games with thousands of mechanics and different buttons to press don't work well on controllers, they are more suited for keyboard and mouse. So adding all these new features and everything and making the game have a lot more content does sound good at first, but you have to remember Pikmin is a very simple game and if you add all this stuff into it, it will kind of take away the magic from Pikmin. And the environment is something I wanted to talk about in more detail here because I'm quite literally obsessed with the Pikmin world. And that is one thing I always focus on in video games, the actual world we are in. When you are set out to explore these worlds, they have to be interesting interesting to keep my attention. There have been countless, countless times where developers don't put detail into the environment and it is just so obvious. Games like Assassin's Creed have so much detail and history to their environments where there are other games out there which yes they are big and have a huge map but the actual map itself isn't detailed, it's very bland, it's boring, it just doesn't catch my attention. And part of the reason the Pikmin world is so fun to explore is because of how tiny you are. It's a really interesting perspective to have. Olimar is literally 1.9 centimeters tall for crying out loud, so a piece of fruit in this game is like an entire house. So I really do enjoy that perspective. You get to appreciate the environment a lot more by encountering obstacles you would never have to encounter in real life, such as ordering your army of 20 Pikmin to lift a battery up to your ship. It's really interesting to see. It's like you're in charge of an ant army. It's really cool. And speaking of the world, if you have played these games before, no doubt in my mind you would have thought why this place is so strange, the mysterious setting just makes you want to go out and explore even more and find out about these creatures and why there are items such as batteries lying around when there doesn't seem to be any humans at all. And this place does resemble Earth and I can't recall if they confirmed if it was Earth or not but either way it is really interesting. And last but not least, the Pikmin themselves, how could I not speak about the Pikmin. I love these guys so damn much. They are so cute. I love the different types of Pikmin and the different abilities they have and I can't wait to see the new ones they introduce in Pikmin 4. That's always one thing I look forward to when a new Pikmin game comes around is the new abilities and stuff like that. Everything about them is just so adorable and still to this day I get PTSD flashbacks of losing my Pikmin friends. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Seeing the little souls leave their bodies, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's horrible. I could rant on literally for hours and hours why I love this series. I don't want to keep going because they are the main points I wanted to make. The simplicity of this game, the amazing environments and the setting of the Pikmin world in general. The Pikmin themselves and the obvious things like the great music and the puzzles you solve etc. They're all amazing and honestly you have to play the game to appreciate it yourself. I'm sorry if these points come across as kind of obvious but it's one of those games you have to play so appreciate it yourself if you watch people play the game you may not sort of enjoy it as much you have to go out there and play it and hopefully when Pikmin comes to switch you will get that chance if you haven't already and also hey Pikmin I said I would speak about this evil game 
I'm, I'm kidding. It isn't that bad. It isn't that bad. The levels are just very boring and it does get a bit repetitive at times. But I think if this game came out straight after Pikmin 3 or maybe a bit before Pikmin 4 to tide us over a little bit. But as long as we know when Pikmin 4 was coming, I think it would have been fine. I don't think it would have got as much hate. I just think honestly, it's the time it came out. It came out at a time when everyone was desperate for Pikmin 4, even just Pikmin news. Everyone was desperate for it. And we got this spin-off game, which was mediocre at best. So it's not a bad game. It just came out at the wrong time, I think. But hey, at least we got that cool amiibo, right? Anyway, I just wanted to make this video to express my love for Pikmin. Like I mentioned before, if the points seem kind of obvious and stuff, I'm sorry. It's just one of those games you have to play to appreciate, honestly. It's, it's, it's an amazing game. Please try out Pikmin if you haven't. And I'll admit, at first, I didn't like the look of Pikmin. I only got into the games recently, and I'm glad I gave them a shot. And hopefully soon, we will all be playing Pikmin 4, and we can all live happily ever after. <laughs>